I'm Colin Tumor. I'm a professor in the robotics program here. I'm the director of the Collaborative Robotics and Intelligent Systems Institute, uh, which has just launched in uh, 2017. Uh, we have, over the last eight years, built a very strong core robotics program. The moment you bring the robot outside of the lab, you need to start looking at the bigger picture. And a lot of times, bigger picture means human-robot interaction. We want to go one step beyond that. It's not just the robot. It's not just building the robot. It's not just how the robot interacts with you now. But how does the robot interact with you over a long period of time? As the Associate Director of Policy for the Institute, I think that's a key difference between what we're doing and what other organizations are doing. We really want to make sure that we understand how they integrate into different aspects. So one of the big questions for autonomous vehicles is who's going to be responsible for accidents? If you don't do it right, now you've introduced a lot of other issues. So how do we deal with that? What will be the rules? What will be the regulations in uh, governing robots in your homes? What we have here is a very unique situation that all of the faculty are very collaborative. You can see that we have um, this very integrative environment and we really want to create that cooperative culture that really allows the students to grow, allows the faculty to grow. For the state of Oregon, I think that it, it starts bringing in a lot of capabilities for people to come learn more about robotics and understand how robotics is going to be able to integrate into our daily lives. We are not in any way stuck with how things were perceived in the past. So we're building the robotics of the future. The students are going to be dealing with robotics of 2025, 2030, and that's the direction we're going. I think that's one of the things that makes us unique is this is this brand of uh, young faculty and looking at how robotics ought to be rather than how robotics was.